Hi guys, thanks for joining me, it's Lynette here and today I'm doing my update and also the finale of the um, project polish panning project. I always get it around the wrong way, there's too many peas. <laughs> So today what we will be doing is I'll just be going through the polishes that I've used up, the polishes that I've really enjoyed, the ones that I've decluttered. We've decided in conjunction with Linz and Joe that we've gotten to the point that we've had a good declutter. And I think Joe and Linz um, have done that really well too. Before we, we started playing with the polishes, we went through cloth, you know, polishes that dried up that wasn't enough um, you know ones that we didn't like and ones that we've used up so today is the last update and um, I probably will be sad to see it go but it might stop me obsessing about painting my nails <laughs> I've also bought some new nail polishes this is a nice essay one that isn't here um, so I've been able to make space and when I point to here I've actually been able to make space to get all the current polishes on this rack which was my goal um, I can't fit all the new polishes on however to get to this goal is some achievement for me. Now, lots of people said to me, how have you managed to use up so many? Well, for one, I am obsessive when I wear nail polish. I usually always do three coats of any polish. Doesn't matter if it's a one coat wonder, I will do three coats. And then because I'm working on the laptop all day, you know, the digits kind of get chipped. Um, so I will give it a, a coat, I will coat every nail and I'll maybe do that twice before I take the polish off. Um, so for two to three days I'm topping up as well as um, the initial three coats. So and I also do the same with my toenails, they won't chip. Brilliant. <laughs> but I regularly kind of change the colour on my toenails. Um, and I have never included any photos of them because nobody wants to see anybody's toenails. I certainly don't. So I think that's really, really helped me. So I'm just going to talk about the colours that I've used this month. I'm going to talk about the two that I've actually finished. And the colours that are left are all very autumnal. And we'll go through the ones that I have decluttered, finished, used up. So the first top row, the top row handily was all the colours that I've used this month. So this colour here, the Barry M Coconut Infusion colour, is um, it's one of my favourite colours but I've been using this on my toes because I always use bright colours on my toes but I've gotten really stained blue and orange and red and when I was in green and when I was taking the colours off the nail looked disgusting so I thought I'm going to lay off the heavy colours for a while and just go to a nice neutral toenail which I'm really enjoying. So this has primarily just been used on my toes. I've also used this colour here which is nice and bright. I've used that on my toes as well as on my fingers. Um, yeah, that's probably to about here. So only a couple of more uses to go out of that one. I will be sad to see it go. And this is kind of just to here, just under the halfway point. Um, this colour here, the coconut infusion one, you can see I've used that quite a few times, but it's quite bright. It doesn't look bright in the bottle but when it's on your nails it's very bright and this is one of my favourites I probably will invest in more of these it's nail buddy um, and it says oxygenated nail lacquer um, now I'm probably halfway there um, but I really like that it dries really quickly as well and it's quite hard wearing and it's quite a subtle colour as well I really do like it this is one of my fun colours. It's the um, Jelly Shine by Barry M. And as you can see, I've maybe got one coat left. <laughs> but I did enjoy using that. I still have some of this Avon True Colour left in the light blue. It's almost like a baby blue. So you can see I've used up to about there. And this one, well, I knew I was going to love this one over the summer. It's the, um, the Maybelline um 60 seconds color show and you can quite clearly see <laughs> how much i've used so on to the two that i've used up now this is partly the reason why i've used this one up so it's the opi nail lacquer in milkshade milkshake but i was using it as a base coat so i used put a couple of coats of this on then i put a couple of coats of this one on and it really made the color stand out um, and I also used it as a base coat 
for when I was putting on other colours as well. So that's why that's gone quite quickly. Um, I wasn't a fan of the polish and I wasn't a fan of the colour because when I tried, when I got the consistency right um, for the colour that I wanted, when I got enough coats on, I just, I just couldn't get it to dry. I've just got no patience, even with the Sally Hansen. Um, yep, yeah, it wasn't drying. So this is one 60 Seconds Rimmel Midnight Skinny Dip. I've had this one kicking around for years. Um, I don't know if you can see, it comes to about here, what's left. But yeah, there's not enough for me to get a set of nails out of it. So that's two that I've used up. And that one was practically, it had like one coat in it. That was it. And three, four, five, six, seven others that I've used this month. So that was good fun. So the colours that I've got left, I'm just going to do a quick run through the ones, not my new ones, but I'll add those later. But So I've got this um, Bordeaux Red, which is nice. You can see what I've used in that. I've got the Long Lasting Black. Um, I will definitely use a base coat for that. So this is a top coat. You can't see how much has been used. Um, well, this is down to about here. And this is a coconut infusion Barry M one, so that's had a lot of use. These will probably now go into my top shelf um, because we're coming into the autumn and they're quite autumnal colours. Um, so you can see with the grey, I really love the grey. So that's about what a third out of it or a quarter. Um, this colour is really dark on. I'm not sure if I'll be keeping that. I'll do a few, I'll do, I'll try it on and then decide. And I've also got the Primark High Shine Nail Lacquer One Coat. So you can see, of course you know I've never given that one coat. The Nails Inc London. I've hardly touched this, but I do like the colour. State is ready. I think I was just so focused on using things up and that is kind of too big to try, <laughs> try and use it all up. Um, the Rimmel Gel, um, I haven't actually used much of that. I did finish the nude one, if you remember. And this is a top coat, so there's probably not much left in that. And then I have the Sally Hansen gel, the Miracle gel. So you can see from the top of that how much I've used. Again, very much an autumnal winter colour. And um, this is just a top coat. So, I'm really chuffed that I've got to this point. Um, by using up and decluttering. Um, as I said before, I started doing project panning. I think it was with Nikki Pearson. Um, I had never finished a nail polish in my life. <laughs> and, and actually, some of the polishes in here are, are really old. Um, and that's testament to the fact that I've just never used them up. I also went through, I also had a long spell with my parrot that I couldn't actually wear bright colours or she would just attack my fingernails. And yes, for those of you who are interested to see how the dye goes, the purple has gone blue and it's clinging on. So yes, it is clinging on. <laughs> I will get it done eventually. So I'm just going to go through the colours that I've either finished or panned and I'll count them up. So this one is one of my absolute favourites, but it just stained my nails too bad. I mean, I just thought, no, I can't keep using it. Even with a base coat, it was staining. This was one of my favourites, Primark Quick Dry Nail Polish. I love the colour and you can see there, that it was well finished. This is another Primark one. Um, yep, yeah, fantastic. Didn't have them when I went in, but I was only in quickly. The Primark, the blue glitter, that was gorgeous. And it was really nice on top of the Sally Hansen as well. This is a color, did I pan this or did I finish it? I can't remember. I think I finished it. These colors here, I have had these in my bathroom for about 15 years, I kid you not, but I finally managed to use some up. <laughs> I also finished up this um, Winter Fuchsia. Um, I'd had that for a couple of years. I got that in Cypress and I always pick them up because it's really nice. It reminds me of the Maybelline Longwear 7 Day Polish, the writing and everything and how, how it works as well. Um, this is a Vinylux top coat. It was so sticky I had to bin it. Um, oh, this was one that was horrible. Um, this colour here, it was just nasty on. Um, so that went in the bin. Um, yep, yeah, the Rimmel Nude, um, what colour was it? 
So Session. I love that colour. And you got away with chipping your nails and you couldn't really see it. Another one of the Cypress polishes was Cherry Red. Love that colour. Um, and one I finished up was the Avon Mark Gel Shine. Yep. I finished up this Primark Grey, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now, these were ones that I persevered with. So I finished this one. It was from the Poundland nail polish advent I kind of got halfway through that one maybe more than halfway through and gave up they just didn't dry um, I was the same with this one I persevered almost to kind of halfway and then gave up this one I think I used it up um, the glittery one yeah I think I used half of that before I decided it was not for me and that one I kind of almost finished um, so the ones that I've completely finished are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I finished fifteen polishes. As I say, oops, a lot of them were hanging round. <laughs> For a long time, I decluttered one, two, half used that, three, half used that as well, four, yep, half used that, five, and almost finished that, six, and this was all bunged up. So, yep, that leaves me with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And I think that was out of forty-two. I'm sure it was forty-one or forty-two. My maths is shocking. And my memory is even worse because I should know. So, yeah, I've kind of halved the collection. Um, I'd already had, I'd had a massive declutter before I moved. I gave lots away. Um, so I had a whole had a whole box full of Barry M ones that I got in a Christmas deal when it was on sale. Um, so I'd given lots of those away and lots of other polishes because um, it was just too much for me. It was just too overwhelming, too many polishes. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad I've got it to that point. And once I use up a couple more colours, I'll be able to put the new colours in. So um, yeah, just from, from myself, Linz and Joe, I just want to say thank you very much for watching us. And um, I've really enjoyed it. But I will be glad to get rid of this box of polish. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye.